Okay, so hopefully that's a little bit smoother for you. Just let me know if it is not. Yeah, that looks quite a bit better. It's pretty strange how streaming works. For some games, the settings, you can just, you know, change or stay with what you've set for another game, but for no, Torchlight, I cannot stream with the same settings I have for a while. And it's not like Torchlight is actually that demanding as far as resources go. And I like the graphic style quite a bit, but it's not, you know, it's not Witcher 3. <laughs> and for that matter, WoW is actually pretty intensive on resources. I think it's mainly just because of the way, or the fact that it was made quite a while ago. I know the engine is in dire need of updating. I keep trying, but it's not been completely successful. Let's just say that. Okay. Just checking something here. Okay. I seem to have come through with some stealth improvements though lately. I've noticed with the latest, was it 7.1? 9.1? I don't even know what expansion we're on anymore. Um, I've stopped keeping track of what tier we're on a long time ago, like in Cataclysm, which was three expansions ago. I think it's like tier 19 or something. It's ridiculous. I think I lost my Lich as well. As comparatively low levels this dungeon is, my Lich keeps dying. Either that or getting stuck on something, I don't know. <laughs> I guess there's not directly a way down into the room. I still hurt this guy from here, though. Oh, I think all my guys are just running off. Is that what's going on here? Some of them seem to disappear. Yep. Okay, guys. Chill. <laughs> they can be a bit of a nuisance sometimes, I have to say. Um, I've noticed that... I keep bringing this back to WoW. Um, but I've noticed your guardians, I think that's what they're called. Uh, bodyguards. Whatever. Um, they have a habit of pulling a lot of extra stuff. Like... For me, my main class is Monk and Miss Weaver specifically, but when I go out in quests, of course, I go into Windwalker and typically use Lily. At least in the past I have, but I ended up, I guess, unequipping her? That sounds really strange. I ended up not bringing her along anymore because she's constantly appearing and pulling a ton of stuff, which doesn't always get me killed, but it it's gotten close enough enough times that I'm just like, eh, I don't think I'll do this anymore.
And plus, of course, the randomly appearing bodyguards that just show up whenever they want, basically, don't always show up at the best times. I mean, one time they can save your life because you're, you know, almost dead and, you know, they come in and heal you or whatever or tank something. And then, you know, like, half the other time, you could just end up dying because they don't show up or, you know, whatever. This is a Windwalker I usually don't have a, a lot of trouble because Windwalkers are amazing. Usually I'll end up pulling as much or more than a tank does. <laughs> Just because the damage output and the ability to heal yourself is so high. And of course their ability to reflect damage makes it so that there are a lot of uh, mobs that are supposed to be done in groups. I have like 30-40 million health that I can just solo. Pretty decent gear though. It's not especially set up for Windwalker. You know, it's, my main is a Mistweaver, maybe. But. It's actually the dungeon stats for. aren't that bad. I only want. Uh, I think it's Mastery Crit Verse. So, my rating set for Mistweaver is Crit Verse. Oh, hello. I need to drink. Or not drink, but, you know. It's a health pack. Um. And my dungeon set is Haste Mastery. Um, so I can usually, between the two, get a pretty good set for DPS. Okay, let's just go through and summon everybody again, because I think everybody's either missing or dead. And I finally got my last point that I really wanted, my last golden trait in my uh, Windwalker artifact, so I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. Um, I think I've got both my... I think my Windwalker is, weapon is up to 25, and my Mystery of Artifact is at 26. I've been pretty re reluctant to put points into my Mistweaver artifact. Oh, I'm actually going to have to get something new. Hmm. What do we want? I am going for minions, and I, I really want the Spectral Dragon. Um. I think. Okay. I'm not really going to be getting hit all that much, though. I mean, obviously there are some times where I can. Bone wall? That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. I think I'll go with that. Okay, and where are you? Oh, there it is. Okay. I do need to summon some of my guys back, because I've got, like, none of them at the moment. Um, not everybody? That's the downside of having so many minions. It's like, eh, uh, I'm not sure. I think that's everybody. So what does that look like? Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, my owl is way back there, stuck in a corner. He'll catch up if I just move on. There we go. But yeah, I've been hesitant to put my any more points into my Mistweaver artifact just because the next like 600,000 or so are points that don't really do anything for me. 
Um, they'll actually be somewhat helpful on Elganoth because they slow anything around my Transcendence. Um, but it's the only fight it's actually worth anything on. Which, I mean, considering we're progressing on it, you know... Yeah, okay. But we've got a lot of other people doing a lot of other spells that slow things down. So, if it were crucial to the fight, then yeah, sure, I would do it. But it's really not. I've yet to see the strat that says, hey, you have to have a Miss Weaver for this fight. <laughs> and plus, that's not really been our problem. It's really just killing the bloods back to back. and not having them go off at once because like last night for example there were quite a few moments where two or three of them died at the same time which for the healers causes a serious problem as we don't want to be using our cooldowns on those but if there are three we have to use like at least two I would say uh, let's go ahead and just get some mana back a few more things. Oh, I can actually cast this back to back. I figured there would be a cooldown on it. Ooh. Hello. Didn't notice you there. Oh, that's not looking pleasant. Honestly, I think if we can just get the DPS to stay off of those... Oh, it's not a trap. It's a rare occurrence. Um, if we can get the DPS to just stay off of them... I mean, like, completely, unless they're assigned to the, you know, the ad group... Then I think we'll be perfectly fine. Because healing is definitely not an issue. Um, we could potentially bring another healer... But we're bringing three tanks, so I don't think that'd be the smartest thing to do. Um, and two, I don't. We don't really need it. I mean, we've got really good healers, so I've not found that to be an issue. General Grell. All right. So, is there anything for? And five. Everybody else is here. So if there are any criticisms I do have of this game, it feels like the cast time that freezes you in place is a little bit long. Oh, hello. Um, in comparison to, let's just say, Diablo. Like, because in Diablo, my favorite class is... Oh, gosh. I hope I'm right in saying it's the Demon Hunter. Um, with there being a Demon Hunter in WoW now, I'm just really not sure. I'm like, am I remembering that correctly? Okay. Um, it's really, really responsive. Like, you can shoot and move constantly and just kite things forever if you're good enough. Um, which is something that I really enjoyed about that. And there are all kinds of slows and things that you could do. That's a neat spell. Um, and that could really help you in your ability to kite. But in this game, you're stuck in place what seems a, like... I wouldn't say half too long, but like a, if they cut out a third of it, it would feel much smoother. It might be the time that it oh that hurt um, that it takes to turn around. It's just eh, that's just the lag on it. Yeah, should not have been about that. 
It's not like I'm short on potions, but at the same time, I don't really want to be getting hit. Not by something that can be dodged like that. Eh, it doesn't seem to slow him. Which you wouldn't really expect, because most bosses in most games aren't susceptible to things like that. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get some more mana back. I guess I was just out of range of that. Nice. Ah, oh, mysterious wand. Surprised I'm not completely full. I might be now. Um, is it B or I? Okay. Oh, uh, yep, I am now. Um,. But yeah, that's actually not too bad. Um, how in the heck do I get down there? Oh, there's a bridge. I just didn't see it. A little silly now. Okay. So let's go ahead and head to the next zone. I think we've spent way too much time here, to be honest. We've overleveled the zone by quite a bit now. But first, let's go ahead and get rid of some of the stuff. Because, oh, the shift, yeah, shift click. Let's just get rid of grays first. Okay. Let's see, focus, health, physical armor, mana. Um, no, and it's actually quite a bit lower. Oh, I think that's something I replaced earlier. We do have a 3% attack speed bonus from the Room Master set on that one. So do I really want to switch it? No, because that one has increased pet and minion damage on it, which I'd really like to stick to that kind of stuff. Pet and minion armor doesn't look all that good in the first place, though. It's a good chunk of health, but I haven't really been having health problems. Um... Lock chance ice. Yeah, I don't really have any ice damage, electric damage. Yeah, I don't really have the things that have bonuses for that. 4% to all damage, that one's pretty nice. I'll keep that around. I'm not going to keep these because they drop like crazy. Um, physical armor and poison damage, I don't really have that. Ice armor and health, I'm not really interested. The bow. Oh, yeah, Um, what happened to that wand? Did I not pick it up? I guess I did. Okay, so block chance, electric armor and mana. Eh. 117, how is that compared to what I've got? 93, knockback, health stolen, on hit, four arm. Oh, that's nice. Um. I mean, I could. I've got some pretty good gems in what I've got. 22 health stolen on hit, plus 15, or plus 12. Extra 15. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, I'd say that's an upgrade. I'll break that down so I get those gems back. Okay. I'm not going to be able to equip a shield, which is fine. Because equipping a shield as a caster is... I wouldn't say... It's not bad, right? But it is kind of silly. Oh, nice. I can actually replace that. Which makes me happy. Very happy. Uh, armor and trinkets. 4% of... It. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that. And then get rid of the rest of the stuff. Oh, that's nice. I'll keep that. What level are those? These are 13. Yeah, sure. I'll socket that. And can't use that anymore. Okay. So where here we go. Oh, no, that's not the one I wanted. That is the opposite of what I wanted. I didn't want the item back, I wanted the <laughs> the gems back. Okay. Go ahead and put these down here. 
Um, let's go ahead and put it in our stash, actually. I don't really have anything in here. Let's clear up a little bit of room. Alright, now we can move on. It's the Ember Steps that we need to go to. Frosted Hills. Yes. May I assist you? I think I'm going to go ahead and just not... Is it Q for quests? Yeah. Um, let's go ahead and just do that. That was a little side dungeon that we've out-leveled by a bit. Oh, spiders. I like spiders. There's a most hated animal for me is definitely spiders. By a long shot. And why can I not get up there? There we go. It's like, I just want to get the scroll. Not a big deal. <laughs> well, I guess it's not a really a big deal for me to get the scroll either, though, so let's go to summon everybody again. Drain all of our mana. If you're not aware, I have like over a hundred identify scrolls, so did that on accident, but it was okay. <laughs> I'll end up using them. It's just gonna. Oh, hello, mimic. It's just gonna take a little while. Speaking of things that are gonna take a little while. I've been wanting to do, I had never finished my playthrough um, on YouTube of Dark Souls 3. I've got Dark Souls 1 and 2 up on YouTube, but, what do you think drop? Oh, you're an enemy. Actually fires pretty darn quickly. Um, but I'm having some issues with the game crashing at the moment. It's not been a problem in the past, I mean it was on launch. But those are problems that have been taken care of. But lately, it's been freezing and then just. You can't even shut it down. It's, you know, it's frozen so badly. I'm not sure exactly what the problem is, but I'm waiting until I get sorted out. I actually considered playing the game at New Game Plus 8. All the way through because that's it's not something that's really done especially on YouTube I mean I'm sure there are a few people that have videos up of you know things like that but when people think of new game it's something super duper scary I mean I know in Demon Souls and Dark Souls 1 I was completely afraid of stepping into it oh hello I need your help. indeed Okay, I have to save good. We're worried that there's a lot of enemies up here that I don't want to die to. I've got a lot of people to protect me, but at the same time. They tend to be derps and just kind of wander off and kill stuff more than they actually stand around and protect me. And I think all of them are dead, actually. Not all of them, most of them. I say, am I stuck? I count. Uh, zero. Actually, that's quite a bit of damage fairly quickly. Can I slow you? Uh, it didn't look like it. What are you doing way back here, Lich? Okay, he's dead. Okay, so let's go ahead and summon... I think that's everybody else. Looks like two bosses. Or not bosses, but... Like, I don't know, what do you call them? Legendary minions or something? And this one is... Not targeted. I'm stuck on something. There we go. Well, now he's stuck on something. Okay. There we go. There are not usually too many 
areas in the game that have problems getting where you get stuck on things, but it does seem to be an issue in this one. But anyway, um, usually, you know, broadcasters and, you know, everybody else will just play, like, through at a new game level and just quit there once they're done. Because their channels aren't, you know, really revolved around doing high new game levels. And even people who do make it, like, the center of their channel, they don't typically go that high. I've seen a few people do it. Um, but usually it's about doing special kinds of runs, right? So it's doing shields only run or, you know, um, index runs or strength runs, um, speed runs, all that kind of stuff. Because frankly, after, unless you're going to get all the items and even then you only really go up to like new game plus three. There's not a lot of incentive to go past that unless you just want to make a character that excels at everything. You can do everything with it. Um, which actually, I, I don't know, I'm a bit in two minds about it. People don't really play that way too often in videos because it gets kind of boring after a while. Uh, but I'm just going to put it into focus. Um, it can get pretty boring to just do the same things over and over and over with the same character and just be good at everything, which it sounds kind of strange, but you'll find that in a lot of games like D&D &D and such that if you get overpowered, things just lose interest. It's just not very interesting anymore. It's like going back and doing old raids in WoW, right? I mean, it's fun to do you know, a few times for transmogs and stuff like that, but after a while, it just it becomes tedious because nothing's really a challenge to you. You just run through and mow everything over because you're so much higher level and higher, you know, gear than the content was meant for that it just it's not really that interesting. Um, so, you know, you keep doing it because you want a certain piece or whatever to transmog, but you don't do it be typically because it's fun. I mean, it, sure, it's fun to some people, but not the case to me, that's for sure. But Dark Souls 3 kind of gets that way as well. Um, after you've done it a few times, it's not like you're overgearing it. It gets really, really hard. That's why, you know, you don't see people usually heading into DLC at New Game Plus levels. You can't, you know, you can do it. And I've done it before. But that's usually not the first way you want to encounter content usually you want to encounter it on the base level and then move on from there once you've learned you know what bosses are up to and all that kind of stuff because you do get really strong but new, uh, the reason I'm saying new game plus eight is because that is the point where the game is at its hardest it doesn't get harder from there you can keep going up to higher levels of new game plus but it doesn't scale anymore after that point. Uh, let's go and heal my pet. Okay, lots of scary things in here. So I was thinking about doing a play a playthrough on New Game Plus Eight, just to show people what it's like. Because honestly, a lot of people I don't think can get there. I mean, if you're having Excess excessive troubles on new game. You're probably not going to make it past, you know, new game plus two, I'd say, without a lot of time spent. So I've got a few characters right now. I've got, I think the highest I've got is a new game plus six. Um. Honestly, I'm starting to lose interest with that character after a while. 
But if I do do that, I think it it might be informative to some people just to, you know, I said, see what it's like, if for nothing else. Because it's not like Dark Souls is an easy game. And I've put, oh gosh, between the four games, um, not including um, Bloodborne, because I've not played Bloodborne. I do not have a PS4. I'm hoping that someday it'll come to PC, but, you know, I, I don't have a lot of hopes for it. Okay, hello, boss. I will say, I would love, absolutely love to play Bloodborne, but... And actually, I do have more reason to do so now, or to buy a PS4 now. I just can't really afford it at the moment. I don't know that I entirely consider it a Dark Souls game, to be honest. I mean, it's... A lot of the theory behind it is very similar, but just because it is so fast-paced, um, and combat has changed so much in that game. You're, it's more about offensive play than it is defensive play. I don't really know that I would consider it such. Even though, you know, the creator of it is the creator of Demon Souls and Dark Souls. No, the first one, anyway. And Dark Souls 3, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, you made friends with the spiders. Okay. I'll talk to you in a minute. Alright, so what have we got? Oh, I keep hitting I for inventory. Uh, let's go and get pet as well and see what popped over there. Yeah, whatever. Let's go ahead and dump all these grays in here. Alright, what are you? Okay. 39 electric armor, 9 fire armor, 1 second of... Hmm. Well, I don't have those. Unless this has attributes, and it doesn't. Yeah, it's just physical. Um, do I want that? 41 health and 13% or cast speed. That's nice. Um, but I don't really have casted spells, so I'm not going to worry about that too much. 5... No. Knockback resist, which is nice for people who aren't me. Am I caster? Um, no. I do like the way that weapons are open up to you to pretty much whatever class you want to be, the way you want to play it. And it's something I like quite a bit about this game. Like, I'm a caster, but I'm using a bow. Cool. You know, I can use a hand cannon. I can, you know, use pretty much whatever I want. Okay, so strength, a lot of health, and fire armor. Um, that one has a good amount of ice damage. And the other one... Okay, I'll go ahead and use that over the this one. And I'll get that uh, gem back later. Mm, no. They're for a tanky class, but not really for me. Name any place in the world, these clubs have probably been there. <laughs> um, poison damage, I don't have, which is the biggest thing on there. I mean, experience gain is nice, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and send you back to town. Alright, and turn in the quest. Uh, I injured my leg. Okay. I mean, there's a portal to the surface, so your own pace shouldn't be that hard to do. Oh, it looks like I got a fame level as well. Uh, fame gives you extra points over here that you can spend in your skills that are unconnected to your level. So that's how that works. And you get fame through killing boss, quote-unquote boss monsters, so rare 
uh, monsters you can get. The big ones, the glowy circles around them. Uh, let's go ahead and take this one. Adds knockback to the skulls. Good. Starting to get rank one, or tier one in all of mine, so that's nice. Um, what is this? Uh, attack speeds are reduced. So one grows in size, and skeleton warrior. Okay. A long way from getting bone spikes and the lich. I think maybe it doesn't take five points. I think it takes. No, it does. It takes five points to get each tier. The lich as well. Just gonna be a while. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about saving spiders, though. Okay, so poison. Yeah, again, I don't have poison damage. Um, actually, yes. Because I don't think I really have any pet tags. Yeah, I don't. Which is something I'm lacking at the moment. I need one more pet tag. And that collar isn't really that great, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and summon everybody back. There we go. It's like all of my mana. Well, that's fine. Oh, hello. Uh, oh, there's rocks. Greetings, traveler. Can you assist me? I was traveling with the Grand Regent to the Watchwheel Temple when we became separated. I was hoping to rejoin him at the temple, but the doors had been sealed behind him. He was very ill when I last saw him. I think he might have contracted the same sickness affecting the other Astherians. I was planning to enter the watch wheel through the other portal in the old Astherian Refuge. Unfortunately, the keys have been stolen. Goblin miners took one, and we believe that some slavers who recently moved into the area have the other. It takes both keys to activate the watch wheel portal, and it is beyond my abilities to retrieve them. Recover the pass key ember from the slavers and the latch key ember from the goblins. You can use them to open the portal in the refuge and intercept the regent before he infects the guardians. <laughs> Alrighty. Loading strings are a little bit long in this game, but there aren't too many of them, so... Waypoint activated, nice. Don't really need to go back to town at this point, but... Your pet saves you for most of that, but... It also lets you go back and turn in quests and do things like that, so... Okay... It melted pretty quickly. Ah, nice. Oh, a trap. Oh, that hurt. I was going to be okay there, but eesh. You are going to be a summit monster. Or you can just stand there. That's cool. Usually they'll, like, draw their swords out of themselves and then come and attack you. But not this time. Oh wait, are you hitting me? Looks like there's some kind of boss monster around here. Because these guys have... They're usually minions when they're green. Usually. Not always, but usually. I'm hitting him for nothing. Holy cow. See, he has a high physical resist or something. The poison. And I think I lost pretty much all of my minions, so let's just go ahead and summon them again. Uh, I haven't seen my lich around. Oh, there we go. He got down. Yeah. Spidey? I guess he's gonna hurt me. Yep, he's hurting me every time I hit him, but it's not for much. I'm getting more back from each hit than he's taking away, by far. Where'd my lich go? I thought I just summoned him. 
There you go. Okay. Alright, so I kind of need to go in this direction. Alright, so I need skeletons as well. I got my zombies. I do like exploring all of the map, but I'll just start by heading in the general direction since both of them are in this way. Oh, you've got my spells. Uh, let's go ahead and hit zero, get some mana back. Do I need some better mana potions? I think I might. Yeah, I definitely do. It looks much scarier than a person with green name should. <laughs> Though honestly, if I just stand here toe to toe and shoot him, I'll probably get enough health back to just kind of deal with any damage that he puts on me. Yeah. Well, he wasn't really doing much of anything. Okay, we'll check out and see what the mysterious cannon does. I want to pick all this stuff up first. Okay. Oh, I got a level as well. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and put it into strength. Like, make sure and keep equipping everything. Um... Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this one, I think. Uh, although... They keep dying a lot on me. Oh, Undead Fury. Yeah. Um, I don't really have space for it. <laughs> hmm. Let's go ahead and... I don't know how much help these guys are really being. I'm not really using my healing spells, so I guess I can go ahead and do that one. Okay. And funny enough, this is actually one of the mobs I've been attacking here recently, so... There we go. Let's run around and pick up the gold. That's only 13. I'll probably try... Or not try to explore everything this time around. Because... I'm already at a point that I'm out-leveling the area. Oh, that is a lot of damage. On the... not me. <laughs> Doing all the minions in my AoE spells is just like, eh, no, you guys are kind of screwed because you're lined up in a line. That was actually a cliff, it looked like. was not very happy about dying. I mean, why would you be, but, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel about Dark Souls 3 at this point. I mean, it's... It's not like it's a bad game. It's a very good game. And I enjoyed a lot of the bosses quite a bit. But I don't know if it's just that there's been enough of them at this point or what. I know I felt like the game was just over too quickly. But I don't think there were too few bosses necessarily. I was just, I made it through and I was like, that's, that's it? 
the game that you know that's all there is you are being really annoying It's a frost breast attack that keeps slowing me. Oh, chest piece. <laughs> um, I lost all of my minions. I don't know if they just wandered off, attacking things where I can't see them, but. Ah, oh, seven archers, too. I guess I'll keep putting points into focus because I really need more mana. I'm going through it like crazy. I mean, it makes sense for a caster, don't get me wrong, but... It's like... Uh... Okay, get out of here. I'm not sure what's hurting me, but it hurt. <laughs> Badly. Okay. Phew. All right, let's take stop and take a look and well, I guess I'll kill this guy first. Ah, that's what it was. That hurt so much. A lot of spells going off there. Sometimes it's a little hard to see what's going on. All right, let's take a look at our bags. Let's get rid of all these gray items. Okay. Um, uh, can't equip it yet. Don't have enough decks. Um, a bunch of armor. Chance to reflect missiles. Um, and decks. It's not bad. It's not what I'm looking for, though. Um. And poison damage. Yeah. I don't like guns. I don't like guns in most games that are like this. I don't know, they're just so loud. Just a personal preference. Ice damage, don't really have. Has a lot of sockets on that thing. It's a melee weapon, though, so I'm not really. Hmm. It's nice, it's just not nice for me. Oh, goodness. Okay. Um, let's look at you. 159 damage per second. That's a lot. I don't really like the cannons. They're basically like shotguns. Even though there are actually shotguns in this game. So, 60 knockback, a gem slot, 2 crit, minus 2 to all armor. 2%. Gosh, this has everything on it. I mean, like, almost literally everything. Charge decay. Decreased by. Hmm? Oh, okay. You know. Actually, can I equip this now? Yeah. Um. I'll play around with it a little bit. Because it is really powerful. Hmm. Silence for two seconds? That's actually kind of nice. And dual wielding. And yeah, it's not going to affect what I've got. Yeah, I'll go ahead and put that in there. Hmm. Okay. So, we're not going to use that. Um, that's nice. It's less than I've got by a little bit. Uh, focus. I want to increase this dex. Kind of. I like the focus increase. Meh. Okay. And. Strength pet damage. Oh, it's pants again. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so my minions have not come back. So I'll assume they are not going to. Oh, I thought I killed you. 
Oh, there's just more of them. Holy cow. That's a lot of damage. Oh, I've got a short range weapon now. Right. I was standing back attacking like, this is gonna do something, right? No. More of a melee kind of person now. But you know, all that gear that I've been like, eh, that's not really for me. Now it would be kind of useful. <laughs> Usually the way it goes. Oh, guys, come back. Over here. Thank you. Discover Ember Scratch. Leaving Ember Scratch? Oh, I guess it's down here. It does a lot of damage. I will not say otherwise. And it is really nice for AoE situations. And that's kind of what I'm made for at the moment. Oh, goodness. What is that? It's like a totem. But, oh, yeah, it is a totem. Okay. I didn't see anything for it for a moment, so I was like, eh. It's not going to do anything. Okay. I'm hurting them, but they are really hurting me. I need that here. Okay. Back up. Ooh. No. Run away. Run away. There are a lot of range attacks that are just demolishing me. Holy cow. Oh, no. Have that. And I can't. I'm not sure why I couldn't... I mean, I guess there was some kind of freezing spell, but... I'm not one to flex. Nope. Don't let those hit you. Minions, where'd you go? I really need your help. It turns out that when you're a minion-based character... And you don't have your minions, it can be kind of bad. <laughs> You're gonna have problems. Oh gosh, they just destroyed him. Okay. I do have a lot of gear that pertains to minion damage. And look at all the loot down there. Holy cow. Okay. <laughs> look at it all. he does some kind of poison damage on hit, although I don't seem to be affected by it. Hey guys. Oh, that's not where I wanted to put that. I guess I'll just shoot him right now, because that seems to be working just fine. Alright, come down here, minions. There you go. You're all teleported down here. Oh, that was a creepy laugh. Holy cow, dude! Ah, uh, nine. I died. Okay, um... Oh. You know, I have a teleport to this area, so I'm just gonna go back to town. It's the first time I've died. And I keep forgetting, actually, I don't need these on my bar. At all. Because I've got Z and X, which I completely forget. Okay, so should be able to yeah, just work back to the Frosted Hills. I can go ahead and sell everything while I'm here, though. That would probably be a good idea. Um, and I did want to break this. Oh, nope. Wrong one again. This one. I don't care about the item. I want the gems back. Let's go ahead and sell stuff. Um. I should have picked up a few more things. Which is unsurprising, considering how much dropped. Uh, no. Um, not really. I 
Alright, so what are you? One mana every second. Knock back resistance. Yeah, not really. Physical armor. That's good, it's just not what I'm going for. Uh, Bursette to fire and poison. No. Ice and poison. Oh, it does have pet and minion damage, but... A 7 and 12%, so we've got a 19% increase there that's just not doing anything at all. Um, saying that though, what I've got isn't actually helping me all that much. It's giving me a little bit of health, which is good. And the poison armor, eh. But 7% to electric damage. I guess I can go ahead and do this one. Eh, I don't really feel good about that, but... I don't think it was really a huge detriment to do so. Okay, that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and put these gems in our stash, though. State your business. Okay. Let's go ahead and head back to the Frost Hills. Should not be difficult to get back to where I was. Um, I've noticed there's this area right here. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. Um, right here. That'll probably link up and be a little bit better. Alright, so. Oh, you know what? Um, what is my spell? No, that's not what I'm looking for. Um, let's go ahead and do B. And then I can probably. Okay, so we got summon archers two. This one's one. Okay, so you get an extra. Hmm. You know, your pet can equip spells as well. If I elemental overload. Let's go ahead and just put some of these over here. Training that improves the damage dual wielding. Um, improves mana recharge rate at all times. I like that. Hello? Why can't... It's a pet mastery and this one's a concentration, so I shouldn't be able to learn that. Oh, um, let's see, and I think I wrote that one as well. I wonder if I put it over here on my pet, I think they'll be able to summon archers. Yeah. All right. Just let them do that instead of me. This should be this should be able to keep them up pretty stably. Um, and I don't really care about dual wielding, so it's not really a thing. Not for this character. Okay. So we can go ahead and get rid of that and that. Clean our bars up a little bit. Okay, so five, six, seven, eight. And I'll take half of our mana. And our pet should be summoning little skeletons. Oh, don't stand still. What are you doing? Move. It's the thing about this weapon, though. It's really slow. So when you commit to attacking, it's going to stick you in place for a while. That's why, even though it's really powerful, I'm not too convinced on keeping it. I'd like to get a nice wand or a nice bow. But I haven't really seen any at this point. It's really the way I've spec things. You want to stay back out of the way and let your pets do most of the stuff, and then add in your AoE spells to do a lot of damage. It's kind of what this class is about. Okay. And I'll just let my minions catch up. Uh, my owl's in there somewhere. Yeah, he just cast that. Yeah. 
Okay, so I'm actually not going the correct way. Come on, guys. Let's just keeping up. Everybody else is just kind of eh. <laughs> Uh, flamer? Probably not going to be that useful. Just a guess, but... There's not anything around here, really. Besides one guy. Um, I don't have my lich anymore. So it's seven. Well, the good news is there's not really a lot here left alive. <laughs> Bad news this is where I died. Nice. I'll see what I can get after the area is cleared. And this is actually where we need to go for the keys. Pulling around this big cannon looks so silly. Alright, area is safe enough. Let's see what we can get. Can I up the spells I have? Yes, I can get Pestilence. So that will reduce enemy attack speed, which is going to help a lot for casters, because that's what I've been having problems with. Um, again, for the most part, I've been doing okay. Okay, on health ish. Um, the reason I'm putting all my points in is because despite the fact that these are, see, it's 20 plus 12, 65 plus 5, 15 plus 12, 20 plus 17. I like to keep them even. It's not entirely necessary, but at the same time, it's not really all that necessary that you split them up either. Unless you're going for a weapon that's like, or an item that's really close to you that you can unlock with, say, 17 stats and you have 15, then, and you don't really want to put more than necessary into that stat. Oh, hello. You really don't want to fight these guys at the very beginning because there's not a lot of room to kite back to. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and summon everybody again. There's my Lich there. No, I don't see my other guy. Other floaty guy. I don't think I'm actually hitting him. <laughs> okay. Not anything really all that great. Oh, there's more than one of them. Okay. So used to having actually, you know, this is a ranged weapon. It's not like it isn't. Ow. Actually, I didn't hurt that much. But it doesn't have a lot of range on it. Okay, that works. Oh. Go away, spinny things. You're annoying. I say eventually dissipate after the person dies. Eventually. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't really. I'm gonna catch my throat. Um, I don't really want to get near those, but. Then I just ran into it, so, you know. <laughs> As you do. Somebody's throwing dynamite. It's not very nice, you know. No one for him. You are annoying. Go away. No, oh, no. No one die. Okay. Got a plunger. That'll help me blow up something later on. Um, let's go ahead and attack the guy who's already pulled. Although I don't think my minions are of the same opinion. Yeah, it just doesn't have much range. 
Now these guys are the really annoying ones. And I think I lost all my minions. Guys, I didn't want to go that way. Uh, I guess I'm going this way. <laughs> ah, broken detonator. That will blow up that wall. Um, there we go. Eventually. Oh. A mysterious helmet. Ah, that's a trap too. Okay. I'm going in this way. Oh. I guess it turned out to be the correct way. Okay. Let's go ahead. Let's check this, because, yeah, I was going to say, I bet my inventory's getting pretty full. Um, yeah, see, he's still getting a lot of gems. That's pretty good damage. Uh oh, that looks nice. Um, yeah, definitely. I'll go for that. Let's get our gems out of the way. Um, uh, 13% to fire damage. Don't have fire damage. Again, to ice. Um, that's increased magic fine. That's pretty nice. Um... Yeah, I mean, I'm losing damage on it, but the increased magic finds can be nice. I can't equip that, and even if I could, it probably wouldn't. That's not bad, but not really that great either. And, yeah, no. What are you? 8% ranged weapon bonus, 10% increased gold find, um, 9 and 7. What have I got? 20%. I've got something pretty nice at the moment. 4% uh, dull damage. Um, you know, I think I'll pass. That's really nice. But. It's a critical damage. I don't know, I'm thinking mainly about the uh, all armor. Bonus. You know what, I'll just... Yeah, I'll just take it. Because I can slot some gems into it too. Um, armor trinkets are going to be the top one. Knockback resist. Reflect missiles. Hmm. I guess I'll do this one. I'll give some mana recovery to it. That's fine. And don't want that chaos in our back, probably. That's okay. Oops. I've got enough gems, and a lot of gems I'm not using, so it's not really that big of a deal. Oh, hello. Forgot about you. That's what I get for not doing anything for a few seconds. I say, there's something. I mentioned this in the last time I played this game, but. There's something about it not really always showing up the help when you mouse over. So when you hold down shift when you first mouse over it, see like this, it's not showing the health. But if you aren't holding down shift when you first mouse over them, then you can see it. A little frustrating. Archer, so I'm not going to be able to kite you, really. So I'm not even going to try. Oh, that was not very pleasant. Oh, he's throwing the dynamite sticks. Standing toe to toe with somebody like that is not usually a good idea. There's some big enemies around here. Holy cow.
A lot of health potions. Another plunger. Alright, Spellbinder, what are you doing? You're not really doing anything. Dervish is yours. I don't know what all these attributes do, to be quite honest. He doesn't seem to want to do anything so long as you're in melee, but I guess I keep knocking him back so he gets knocked out of the cast. Oh, I did put that um, silence into the silence gem. That's probably what was going on. No, you don't. Oh, actually, he did. <laughs> Using a cannon to destroy a totem seems kind of overkill. Wow. <laughs> okay. I think that would have uh, destroyed the chest, but, you know, a uh, video game. <laughs> Alright, so I did get another plunger, and I've got my zombies, but that looks like it's shit. So, seven, eight. Okay, so let's see if we can just keep this guy. Oh, he's a warrior. Ah! Not good. <laughs> That worked. I'm trying really hard to understand what they're saying, but... say this game can get pretty chaotic pretty quickly and part of that's actually ah oh, detonator um part of that's actually kind of the fault of synergy's mod because there are more monsters and more like rare monsters and such and synergies than there are in the normal game but the the normal game has that problem too there's just all kinds of spell effects and creatures going around which again is Kind of the fault of synergies, and especially the fact that I'm playing the class the way I am. Um, I'm playing a summon focused character. But, well, let's get out of here. Um, you know, it's. I don't know. Oh, there's some. I don't want to go this way. Yeah, I want to go where I blew stuff up. <laughs> I want to go back over here. Get this chest. A little ghoul guy keeps getting stuck in areas that he, she, it really shouldn't be. Serious gloves. Let's see what those are. Okay. And my inventory is completely full again. Um, how about my pet? Okay, it didn't look like anything important one in there. Alright, I'm just gonna drop all the green stuff in here. Your pet can't carry oh, okay, that's Your fine. Pet has departed. All right, ring. We've got electric damage, which I don't do. Electric armor and vitality, eh, not really interested. Um, boots, we have physical armor, electric damage, again, don't have it. Mm, those gems are kind of nice. Starting to get to the higher level gems, so. What else have we got in here? Have we picked up any magic yet? 
elemental protection too. Um, we still got dual wielding. Can I see my? No, I can't see the inventory while I'm gone. Okay, that's fine. It's nothing really all that big. Oh, don't want to stand near that. <laughs> The pathing mechanics in this game can be a little wonky at sometimes too, so it's not a perfect game. That's for sure, but I guess, you know, what is. There are not many, I don't know if there are any games out there that I would call perfect. Um, trying to think if there would be any at all. And off the top of my head, um, Bastion maybe? I'd say Bastion might be. I mean, it accomplishes everything, I think, that it's set out to do. So I would think, yeah, maybe, maybe Bastion. I would consider a perfect game. And this is not perfect in the sense of you know, it's it's the game that encompasses everything. At this point, I don't think we're going to see a game that is that. I mean, we've got games. All right, so when you have games that try to do that, they end up like um well, what's that game that just came out recently that to say I was pretty not that's quite a bit more damage than the other one knockback is pretty nice armor yeah okay I mean there's a lot of things about this bow that I like better but a lot of things about the other one I like better that's a good place to be um a uh, space game did very badly. The Endless Sky or something like that, I can't remember. Um, a lot of people are just so hyped about that game because it, it tried to do everything and it just did nothing. There are people who liked it, but... If I want to play a space game, I'm... You know... Alright, let's... I'll focus on my loot first and then I'll try to say what I'm trying to say because I'm trying to do both and it's not working. <laughs> uh, poison armor, fire armor, health. That seems pretty nice. Um, I think I'll stick with what I've got though. And electric damage again is not really going to do any good. The necklace I have is really not that great, but this one is not that great for me either. Okay. Um, but yeah. So, when a game tries to do everything, usually they end up doing nothing well. It's that jack of all trades kind of thing, which I think people criticize a little bit too much. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it, it's definitely true. Okay, broken detonator. I need a plunger. Thought I had another one, but apparently I don't. Mysterious pants. But anyway, if I play a space game at this point, it's it's going to be elite. Um, I, the exploration aspect of the game is wanting, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely there. Oh, there's a bunch of device. Um, it's there more than, oh, King Pog. Um, it's there more than most games at the moment. I think it's there more than any game at the moment, any space game. Um, but at the same time, it, it's got its issues. I think... Frontier needs to focus on 
exploration quite a bit at this point um, to really build it up to what I know it's it's meant to be right um, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems that I have with Elite Dangerous but it's the best game at the moment um, as far as like space games go so I spend a I've spent quite a few hours on it not as many as my Steam profile says I have because it's got that issue where you know if, if a game has a launcher if you've left the launcher open it considers that you that you're playing the game so I think it says like I've got like six seven hundred hours in it or something like that at least 500 and I haven't spent that many hours in it I've spent quite a few but not that many I got the keys nice see what's behind here. Mm, not much is the answer. I just guess a little, yeah, not really anything. Okay, well, that's fine. But yeah, so Elite has its issues, definitely, but it's... The name of Sky? Uh, I can't remember. But yeah, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon of criticizing that game too much. It's just... I never... I I probably would have bought it had the art style been different. I really didn't like the art style. So I had a hard time getting a lot of, you know, interest in the game. Uh-oh, that's not good. I'm trying to get rid of these totems, but they keep popping up faster than I can kill them. Or rather, yeah. See? Oops, that's not what I'm to do. Okay, one. I think I need to change the potions I'm using. Too many explosions! I keep hitting Q. Nope. Let me live. I don't want to die. The problem is everybody's dead. So I'm not getting any assistance at all. Okay. That's a little better. Alright, so... Yeah. Honestly, my biggest letdown in space games here recently was X Rebirth. Because X3 was so good there it has issues too in that it was just like overly complicated um, you had to make macros to do all kinds of things and it just it had its problems too but Albion Prelude um, which was basically the X3 expansion um, well one of the X3 expansions the latest X3 expansion yeah, I already killed you. <laughs> um, it just, the barrier to entry to that game was just so high. If you weren't, ex you know, it's kind of like trying to get into Dota or League of Legends at this point, right? If you haven't been into it, it's one point or another, it's really hard to get in because there's so many heroes that you've got to learn so many things about. Um, thankfully, the X Universe fans are not nearly <laughs> anywhere close as toxic. You know, they're generally extremely helpful and, you know, friendly and all that kind of stuff. Um, but, whereas you're not going to find the same thing in League. Um. Yeah. Is anything gonna be in you? Not really. Some gold. But yeah, the barrier to entry to that game is just so high. If you're not planning on spending hundreds of hours in it, you're gonna get absolutely nowhere. But it is a game that does try to do pretty much everything and actually kind of pulls it off. You can build your own star bases, you can, you know, 
command capital ships. You can command a whole fleet of capital ships if you want to. Uh, so the complexity of that game is really, really, really high. But it's very, very good. The only problem is it's kind of... I mean, it doesn't look bad. But at the same time, it it's kind of it's showing its age a little bit. The engine that it's built on is fairly old. So when... Rebirth was coming along, everybody got so excited. But it has a it has several issues that make it just more frustrating than anything. I think if you came to X Rebirth and have not played an X game before, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Because a big thing about the X series is being able to switch ships and command other ships and all kinds of stuff like that. So X Rebirth allows you to command other ships, but it doesn't allow you to change into other ships than the one that you started out in. That ship is customizable, but you can't leave that ship and go to other ships. You can actually walk around stations and stuff and hire people, but you can't, you know, you're stuck with the ship that you've got. Um, and the ship that you've got isn't really, I mean, it's not that amazing. So, it just, it feels frustrating. And I haven't really put a lot of hours into it, just because, um, knowing that I can't have any other ship ever, it just kind of ruins it for me, to be honest. Which makes me sad, because there's a lot of things about that game that I like quite a bit. And some of them are actually some things that are kind of controversial in the community. Or they were the last time, you know, I actually paid attention to it. Um, I know there's been quite a few improvements and bug fixes and stuff like that since release. Um, but so long as you can't use you know, a different ship, I'm not really all that interested. No Man's Sky. That's what it was. Been trying to remember this whole time. Just couldn't. But yeah. I'm sure you guys knew. tolerated. I love the ranks in this. It's like, yeah, you're nobody. Um, you're just going to be nobody for a while. And it's going to be a while until people actually start to respect you. And by a while, I mean a long while. Oops, let's hit the button on my tip. Alright, so there's a key in here. Let's go ahead and head down here. Alright, so it looks like it's about time to pick up another spell. So I've got it handled. Alright, so what all... Hmm. Okay, more summons. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so... Which... This one? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is actually, I'm going to take a short break. Um, don't want to, I can stay out here. I'm going to take a short break, let my voice rest a little bit, get a drink, all that kind of stuff. And I will be back in about five minutes or so. So, I will see you guys in just a few minutes.
Alrighty, folks. I think we'll probably go for about another hour. And then stop there. Um, oh, that is the wrong one. Playing at another resolution than your standard resolution tends to prob cause problems, so... Honestly, the game does not run that well at 4K. There we go. Alright. Just wanted to make sure that it popped up in stream correctly before I continued onward, because I don't want it to not show up, because that'd be kind of pointless. Alright. Yeah, I played on streaming for a little bit longer. Honestly, I was kind of surprised two hours had already passed. Um, but I wanted to stream for a little bit longer, but unfortunately, my voice is starting to give way. Uh -oh. I'm still not back to full health after being sick, so unfortunately, it's just going to be an issue at the moment. That, and I'll be back tonight with the raid, so... Uh, you are dying very quickly. Um, but there are a lot of fire around. Or there is a lot of fire around. Uh-oh. That move. I think I was clicking on something. Because he was not moving. Um, and I think everybody's dead. So let's just... <laughs> you guys go deal with him. Ow. Ow. I'm getting stuck on little guys is the problem. Nice. Got another key? Okay. Well, that's dealt with. I'm kind of surprised. The key was this early on. I guess this area may... Just not be as big as the other one. Which is fine with me, because if you have all super large dungeons, it kinda gets old. Hello. Did you need something? Um, well I just rescued you, so you know. Um not really. I'd like to move back to an actual ranged weapon. Which one is worth the most? That one? Yeah. Oh, hello, Mimic. Mm, looks like there's another question mark here pretty close. <laughs> they just took care of it. Not a big deal. Hello. Um, oh yeah, and hopefully that's not coming over the mic that my stomach's rolling. Um, that's actually not bad. Yeah, okay. In case I want to move back. I'd like to actually switch to a good weapon when I change back to a ranged weapon, though. I don't want it to be a crappy one, because this one's really good. It is nice at breaking shields, I'll have to say that. But yeah, I have not eaten it quite some time, so what are you all doing in the cage? No. I mean to click on you, I meant to click on them. Thankfully that tornado doesn't really seem to be doing all that much. I say that and then I just take a spike in health. 
die already. Yeesh. Okay. I can't carry anymore. Oh. QQ. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, that one was the decent one, right? Yeah. Mm hmm. I don't really want to switch to a green from what I've got, but, you know, I, I think I might. Because I just don't like the cannons very much. <laughs> Alright. What are you? Physical armor, electric armor, physical armor. Uh, that's okay. And you can go ahead and go back to town. Your pet has departed. Okay, staff? Um, that's not bad. Actually, that's pretty good. But it's a melee weapon. Right? They don't have magical range. Yeah. Um, I mean, ideally I'd be casting most of the time, but uh, that's not really the case. A shield? Which is pretty good for melee. Um... Mm. Ring, what are you? Electric armor, 56 health, um, minus 4 to all item. That's nice. 6% chance to reflect. That's pretty nice. Is it. Do I want to replace something with it? Is the question. I would lose 8 strength. And 157 health, so 100 health. Um, ironically, I don't have the stats to equip it, so I guess the question is kind of moot for the moment. Uh, shoulders. Another witch of that amazing. Yeah, I think I'll just stick with what I've got. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's like 16 eye levels difference. Um, but, or 16 levels difference, not eye levels. But 35%. Oh, it's depending on armor, though. Um, but I've got 6% to. It definitely wouldn't be this one. Your pet returns. Uh, I'll, I'll stick with what I've got. And. Because, uh, what do I have in here? Can I silence? Yeah, I want to D that one. Okay. Ah, Enchanter. Cool. That in the... I don't remember how it works in this game, but in the last one, it could be completely risky. Like, really risky. Okay, that was an ambush. Thankfully, I am not the only one around here. Alright. So, actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and stop here because my voice feels like it's going to give out any second now, so I think it'd be a good place to stop. It's not too long after break, unfortunately, but I've been streaming for about two and a half, three hours, so. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and use... Are you waypoint portal? That is not possible. Oh, I guess I have to get out of the dungeon first, and then I should be able to use it. Stir up. Okay, now I should be able to use it. Yep, there we go. And let's go back to Enclave. But yeah, I should be back tonight. Or I know I will be back tonight. Um, around... Let's say it's 8 uh, Pacific is when our raid starts. So we'll be back around then. And we will keep working on Evil Tree. And hopefully kill him because we've been on him for... Two weeks? Two weeks and a day or so? Uh, of course, we're not raiding every night, so... But still that's it's longer than we should have we should be on him he should be dead by now so 
He should die tonight. Alrighty, so thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoyed. Until later this evening, hope you have a wonderful day.